Hello and welcome to Infinity. I recently did videos on the saturation mask and this is just to introduce and show you how to get hold of macros that will speed up the process for you. So all we're going to do is go to, I can find where it is, here we go, this page in the website I use to share stuff. And the link to it will be down below uh, in the bit below the video. So there we go. And what we're going to do with that is I click here to download the video. And so the maps and the macros and I go to the library here, which I can get to via view studio and library. And then I go to the same level as library there. I click on that, click on import macros, and there it is. So wherever you downloaded it to, maybe your downloads folder, and I open that and it immediately appears here. And there are two macros in here and I'll show you what they are. So the first one I'm gonna click, that's gonna take a little while because you use apply image, And here we go. And what's being created here is a saturation map on this level here. And it's got the saturation map name given to it. And the original image is there unchanged. So you can always delete the saturation map layer. And as the other videos say, the saturation map, it's lighter where colors are more saturated and darker where they're not. And where they're not completely not so black is where there's white, greys, blacks. Um, which means there's no colour and there's no saturation. So, that's that one. That one does that quickly. The next one here does a bunch of things. I'll just show you quickly what it does. It just saves you a few more faffs in time. And so the stretch here is, because this doesn't go all the way from white all the way through to black. As you can see in histogram here, there's a great big space here. So it clicks this few auto levels, which will stretch this out. Now I've got from white to black in here. Next thing it does is it goes to the channels tab, goes down to here to one of these right clicks on that says create spare channel. It doesn't rename the spare channel there because macros don't let you do that. It's a bit annoying really. There it is. But it means that you can then use that, which we'll do in a moment and just show you how. And thirdly, it just drags this to the bottom because you don't need it for now, but you might want to go back to it somewhere else. So now if I go to the layer here, I can do something like go to adjustments, go to something like curves. And then I want to load the, the thing on that because if I turn this up here, it brightens everything. I just want to apply that to the saturated areas then I need to have that map on there. So I go to the spear channel, right click it and say load to curves adjustment alpha. And there you go. So now when I do this, it's only adjusting the saturated areas. So I want to turn it down a bit. Then the less saturated areas are not affected. And I can do things like I can do a kind of a contrast curve again, applying more to the so here the saturated areas are pulled up um, in the light area and down here. Anyway, that's it. Um, just two macros there, but uh, hopefully it'll save you a little bit of time. Okay, and thank you very much for watching.